Okay, so I was going to reply to a few comments in this comment section because they're just lying sacks of, you know, <laughs> yeah, they just really piss me off with the lying. So I was going to comment back to them, but I don't want to comment on the video because I don't want people coming back to my channel because all you end up with most of the time is horrible pieces of coming to your channel and then you just end up having to block them anyway. So, you know, anyway, it's people like this who really annoy me. So I think she's a pole like all from Red. She knows what she's doing and she's playing people. She's been given the answers to her questions hundreds of times over the past few years and she still keeps asking the same questions. No, you're an idiot. Ding. So my channel was created 11th of August 2019. My very first video was seven months ago. Then he goes on to say... So it... And then like... I started questioning gravity and things like March, April. And then after that, I started questioning Flat Earth. So it hasn't even been a year, but yeah, I've been asking for the past few years. You're an idiot. Then he, he goes on to say, she deliberately acts coy and curious and plays on her good looks because it's all intention seeking game for her. Really? So good looks, first of all, is in the high, eye of the beholder. So you might think I'm good looking and there might be other people out there who think that I'm completely not good looking. So that's just like, you know, a, an irrelevant point. Plus, I shot myself once in my first video. Then I didn't show myself. Then I didn't show myself. No, 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 no. Up until that one again. So I didn't even show myself for how many videos, but yet I'm playing on my good looks. You're an idiot. Right. Oh, and there's something very suspicious about her accent. It seems to wonder from Aussie sounding to Brummie to Irish to scale. So she's obviously putting it on. Uh... I, I would try under the accents, but I am absolutely terrible at accents. So if I was you, I'd just suggest getting an Aussie clip, a Brummie clip, an Irish clip, and a Scouser clip, and putting it next to my voice and seeing whether I sound like that. Because clearly, you are delirious. Okay. So that was one person who really annoyed me and peed me off. Then there's a few other comments. So here's one. This is why I didn't comment on the video. Because people... Like this. I'm not saying he is, he is going to be nasty. But, you know, people are nasty. So, a lot of them anyway. But here's like why I didn't comment. So here I am scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. Expecting to see the comment from this lady. So he's looking for me in the comment section. If I was trying to acquire subscribers. Wouldn't I have commented so that people would look for my comment. And then come over to my channel. You know, I deliberately didn't comment. Because I don't want people coming over to my channel. But yet, you know. Apparently I do it for subscribers or whatever. Clearly idiot. Here's another one. 15 degree per hour drift. Clearly a troll. You can tell by his name. Complete waste of time with Rachie. She's an actress playing a part. Call her out and the nicey nice nicey nice, nice mask soon drops. I'm sorry. Go and be a dickhead to somebody out in the street. And let's see whether they'd, they'd, be, they'd be nice to you. Yeah? Because you want to be a piece of thing to me. And then you expect me to be nice to you? Like, are you an idiot? Or what? Like, seriously, you expect me to be nice to you when you're not nice to me. <laughs> Go and get some logic. Right, this person, Graham Price. Let me guess, the day after this was released, right, she was on Nathan Oakley's show. Saying, but how do we have air pressure without a barrier? Or saying, well, isn't gravity just a theory? She has absolutely no intention of shifting her position. This video will just prove that. Again, you're an idiot. I've never been on Nathan Oakley's show. And from what I have been on Nathan Oakley's show, like in the comments, in the chat and that, I've actually asked him hard questions or tried to, you know, and asked him questions. So, again, you're just an idiot who don't know facts and you just fucking assume all the time. Pardon my language there. But you just assume all the time. Right, overweight aviator, we had a back and forth. I believe we've sorted that out now. He was a misunderstanding. Um... There's somebody else as well. There's a lying sack of more than most of them. And even deleted his comments. Fortunately for him, I still have Gmail comments. So this is Cyber Monkey. Official statement for Cats and PhD Tony. I can officially announce that all your considerable hard work to convince Rachel not to become a Flat Earth cult member failed. She's more than happy to continue her game of attention-seeking, oh my gosh, and wasting everybody's time in a vain attempt to acquire subscribers. Well, I think we've already gone over that. 
down where I need to go over it again. How I'm not attention seeking. How I'm not doing it with my good looks or whatever. And how I am um, not trying to acquire subscribers else. I will be commenting on these. She was adamant that Michu Kaku, whatever his name is. I probably pronounced that wrong and butchered it. Um, she was adamant that Michu Kaku mentioned a collision and subsequent explosion at the time of the Big Bang. When I tried to explain to her that he was speculating about a hyperdimensional hyperspace beyond our known universe and that within the confines of the universe we inhabit we are only aware of an inflation and not an expansion, she told me she proved, he said he, and I was on drugs and made no sense whatsoever. Cheers, hopefully your excellent video will help us to persuade some other schmuck to change our mind. Good luck. So this person here is a nasty piece of work. So he's a liar. He deleted his comments. Um, so yeah, so first of all he says that I was adamant that um, Michu Kaku mentioned a collision and an explosion at the time of the Big Bang. He did. And I did prove it, which is what he didn't like. So, um, yeah, then about the drugs part. So she then she told me I was on drugs. So you'll see why. So, here, yeah, he says to me, that was all very interesting, Rachel, and I appreciate the effort you put into writing it. Hopefully you will show the same courtesy, courtesy to me. Personally, I think you need to calm down slightly. You're trying to answer everything all at once and it's coming out garbled. Let's take it slowly, okay? Right, that was Michu Kaku. He's a theoretical physicist who worked on string theory. And don't ask me to explain that here as I haven't got the time right now. What he was talking about was the possibility of other universes which might exist outside of this universe. In something called the multiverse. The complicated mathematics would seem to support this idea, but we don't know for sure. Now, he described those multiverses, I think that's meant to say, as jiggling about like soap bubbles. And occasionally they might collide and give birth to other universes. It's all very theoretical and takes years of study and mind-altering drugs. But I was kidding about the study part. Don't worry about it. Within the confines of our universe, Michu Kaku would agree that the Big Bang is just a term we use to explain the initial inflation and expansion of the universe. No banging allowed. I hope that cleared up the confusion for you. Okay? So, here you can see that he deleted his comments. So, uh, KP was the original um, poster. So, KPP, then you got Ryan. Raichi, Ryan, Raichi, KPP, KPP, Raichi, KPP, Raichi, to Cyber Monkey. Where was Cyber Monkey? Huh? Where's his comments gone? Deleted him because he was wrong? Deleted him because he was nasty? Yeah, I think so. So, he asked me a question and I said, here, 28 minutes. So, I think this was about the explosion, so... Currently on paper, the possibility the to go back in time, you can't kill your mother before you were born because that would be inconsistent. Uh, okay, so, so Michio was, is going to get around that by saying time forks. That's right. According to the quantum principle, time is constantly forking so that our universe, being a bubble that expands, can actually become a multiverse like in a soap bubble. So a soap bubble bath. Think of lots of bubbles bifurcating, colliding with each other, and that's the Big Bang. Think of lots of bubbles colliding with each other, and that's the Big Bang. So the Big Bang is colliding with each other. Let's listen again. Multiverse like in a soap bubble. So a soap bubble bath. Think of lots of bubbles bifurcating, colliding with each other, and that's the Big Bang. That's the Big Bang. Not that's another universe, not that's another dimension. That's the Big Bang. So he was proved wrong there. Okay. So. So then, obviously we're still talking, but he's deleted his comments. So then I said here, 150, there was an explosion. Stephen Hawking in his Take latest book says God to a parent universe. Our universe had a genesis. Our universe had a big bang. There was an explosion, but these explosions take place. Our universe has a big bang. Our universe had an explosion. So again, saying that he said it was collisions in the other one and explosion in this one. Parent universe. Our universe had a genesis. Our universe had a big bang. There was an explosion, but these explosions take place all the time. There was an explosion. These explosions take place all the time. There was an explosion. 
You know what I mean? You can't be much clearer than that. But yeah, apparently I didn't prove it. I've just proved it again to you, mate. And that you deleted your comments. And that you're a lying sack of... Now, right now, the last bit that he says was something about mind-altering drugs. So, let's take a look at that. And the mind-altering drugs bit. Okay, so... The mind-altering drugs bit says... So, he said something to me, to me about them saying mind-altering drugs. I'll read it again for you in a minute. But what they says was... I said, what, question mark? I think you need to stay off those mind-altering drugs because you make no sense. Attention-seeking, so obviously he said I was an attention-seeker. Attention-seeking because I proved the physicist say his explosion, which you said he didn't. And then I said, okay, look after yourself and take care of yourself too. So all I said to him was that he needs to stay off the mind-altering drugs because he was trying to say that the physicist was on mind-altering drugs and that the physicist did say explosion, which he said he didn't. So again, I proved him wrong and about the collision bit too. And then I was nice to him at the end, and I said, okay, take care anyways, you know what I mean? So, yeah. So, in this one, so, it's all very theoretical, takes years of study and mind-altering drugs. That is what he said. It's all very theoretical, takes years of study and mind-altering drugs. <laughs> Jeremy, and then he would says, but I was kidding to, due to the study part, so he's just trying to say that it was mind-altering drugs. That's why I told him that he, he was in drugs, because he was trying to say that about the scientists. And then... To top it off, there was a comment on there from Seek Truth, Speak Truth. And Seek Truth, Speak Truth says... Where's it going? I don't know if it's going to come up. I can't find it. There was one on here of Seek Truth, Speak Truth. And saying basically he's an ex-flat earther and he's now... Um, you know, fighting for the globe or whatever. And then Cyber Monkey decided to reply to him, why mention the ex flat earther thing? Do you think that, that that's some sort of badge of honour or achievement? Isn't it similar to saying ex con? It's definitely not something you should be proud of. And maybe you should try and keep it quiet. So then he started to pick on Seek Truth, Speak Truth. And this is somebody who's a lying sack of, as I says, and uh, deleted his comments to try and hide about the fact that he put mind-altering drugs to begin with. And then tried to, tried to say that I said that he was on drugs. I was just saying what he was saying that I was on. Do you know what I mean? So, you know. And he was like trying to say it. Basically, he got proved wrong and he didn't like it. As a lot of people don't. And he didn't like that he got proved wrong. So he deleted his comments and then tried to make me the bad guy. So, yeah. He just really annoys you. Obviously, we spoke about gravity and that, but yeah, you can see that he's just basically a sack of, you know, summit. So, yeah, that was my point. It just really annoys me when people lie and, and you know, try and slander you like that. So, yeah, it just really, really annoyed me. And he said something about me attention-seeking and whatnot, and oh, I don't know. So that's when I said, like... You know, I'm attention seeking because you got proved wrong and he didn't like you. And I'm just sick of people like this who are just lying sacks of shit. To put it pl bluntly, you know what I mean? They just are lying sacks of shit. Um, people like this, you know, I can't eat. I haven't even got time for. Do you know what I mean? Like, I just wanted to point out the fact that, you know, the people who liked his comment and shit, you know, like... That they shouldn't like his comments and that. There was more experiment because he's just a lying sack of shit. So yeah. Anyway, take care and stay safe.